Time now for Inside Utah Politics. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Glenn Mills. It is time to go Inside Utah Politics. We do begin this morning with Evan McMullen, independent candidate for Senate here in Utah. Evan, welcome back to the show. It's been, what, four or five years since we saw you last? It's been a while. Great to be back <laughs> with you, Glenn. Uh, let's talk background. Of course, you made a run for president. You did quite well in the state of Utah. Uh, in that race, getting somewhere around 20%. Uh, talk about your background, though, uh, and what you believe qualifies you to be a senator for the United States. Well, I began my career uh, here at Brigham Young University when I was recruited by the Central Intelligence Agency, and, and then after 9-11, shipped off and, and helped fight the war on terror. I spent most of my time with the, with the agency, which was about 10 years, over 10 years in the Middle East and South Asia, uh, tracking down and, and stopping those who wanted to, to attack our country once again. And uh, after that, I, I worked in business for some time and then returned back to Washington to serve as a national security advisor in Congress. And then after that, as you pointed out, I, I uh, ran a, a brief presidential uh, candidacy and campaign in 2016. Uh, offering uh, voters here in Utah and elsewhere uh, someone to, to support on the conservative side who was committed to our founding principles. And I, I thought that was important at the time and have continued to fight to unite Americans around founding American uh, ideals that I think are essential to the future of our country. And so uh, that's what I'm still doing, still mm -hmm. at it, uh, now in the form of, of certainly a Senate campaign. Uh, what's your interest in the Senate? Why, why do you want that job? You take a look at what's going on these days and there's a lot of partisanship, a lot of fighting. Uh, why do you want to take on that responsibility? Well, that's exactly why, Glenn. Our politics are broken, and especially the politics in Washington. We're, we're, we're coming apart as a country. We're failing to govern ourselves. We have these compounding crises in the country that are, are doing great damage, I think, to our quality of life here in Utah, but also, I think, present a, a tremendous risk to our democratic republic at this point. And so we've got to send more unifying leaders to Washington so they'll find common ground and work with each other to solve problems and to defend the republic. And that's, that's why I'm running. That's what I, I think, you know, we have a, a way of leadership here in Utah. We affectionately call it the Utah way. And the, what that is, is, is finding common ground, even while holding to principle, in order to solve problems. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do here in Utah, and we need that kind of leadership in Washington. And I think that's why we've got to make a change in, in this Senate seat, and that's why I'm running. Okay, you're running as an independent. There's a lot to dig into on this one. But let's start off with your relationship with the Republican Party. Uh, you used to be a Republican. You left the party. Talk about why. Well, I was registered as a Republican in, until just a, a day or two before I launched this independent campaign. I've spent most of my life- R uh, Real quick, are you talking about your presidential campaign or this Senate campaign? This Senate campaign, yes, okay. I ran as an independent in 2016. So, yes, yeah, so you went from independent in 2016 back to the Republican Party and now back to an yeah, independent. I, I rejoined the Republican Party. I, I, you know, I, I, I was raised as a- as a Republican, as a conservative, I've worked in Republican and conservative politics. Uh, whenever I've engaged in politics, that's how I've done it. I was uh, the chief policy director for the House Republicans and a national security advisor for Republicans in the House. Uh, I, I still am a conservative. I'm a Lincoln conservative. Uh, I, I want the Republican Party to be committed to the principles that uh, motivated its founding and, and, of course, our founding ideals. Uh, that's what I want from the Republican Party. and So why run as an independent then? Because I think that's the kind of leadership that we need in this country, and that's the best way to represent Utah and its interests in Washington. I think the partisans in this country are tearing the country apart. I think the extremes in, in our parties have gained far too much influence, and they're making it impossible for, for us to solve a range of problems, whether it's the high cost of health care or, uh, of course, this pandemic, or we've now got inflation and an exploding national debt. We've got to have leaders who will work with each other to solve problems. And it's very hard to do that if you're only accountable to an extreme faction of one party or the other. So I'm running as an independent because I believe that's the only way to replace Senator Lee. And the reason for that is that we've got to unite principled Republican, Republicans, independents, and Democrats for that purpose, to replace Mike Lee, but also to offer 
more unifying, effective leadership in Washington. Okay, running as an independent, uh, it's certainly an uphill battle in the state of Utah. Sure, some have won in other states. We see independence in the Senate right now as we speak. I can't think of that happening in Utah, certainly not in our lifetime. So what's the strategy going into that? Well, as you point out, independents have won before in, in other states, and, and also I think here in Utah there is an opportunity, but it has to be done in the right way. It has to be done in a way that can unify Republicans, Democrats, and independents. That's how an independent can run. You know, you pointed out that in 2016, and this is very different, we were only running, I was only running for three months during that brief modest race, but uh, we were able to gain traction and quite a lot of support. Since then, we've been building here in Utah and we've got uh, grassroots supporters and, and other resources that we need to wage a, a campaign. And, and we didn't have those things to begin with in 2016, now we have them. And so, uh, so we're bringing those things to bear and, and we can win this. So we have an opportunity to win this and replace Mike Lee. It'll take Republicans, Democrats, and independents, but a majority of Utahns would like to make a change there and to send better leadership to Washington. And our job is to organize them and mobilize them for this purpose. Okay, so what I'm hearing from you is that you're certain Mike Lee is going to come away with the Republican nomination. So with that in mind, how would you differ from him on some of the big issues we're facing right now? Take the infrastructure bill, for example. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think it is likely that he, that he wins the Republican nomination. I don't think that's a sure thing. I think he's got a couple of, of contenders, of, of opponents, uh, a couple of opponents in, in the primary and, uh, that are quite capable. And, and I hope both of them do, do well, and I, I, I would love for one of them to succeed. So if that happened, mm -hmm. would you still be in the race? Well, look, I, I would have to have that conversation. I'd be thrilled to have that conversation. I believe firmly that we need a new kind of leadership in this country mm -hmm. and that Utah needs that leadership. And that if we send more independent leadership to Washington, that Utah will be the most influential state in the nation. We okay. see how senators who are willing to act independently of party bosses and other powerful interests in mm -hmm. Washington end up having tremendous influence for their states. I want that for Utah. Okay, I, I got us off track a little there. I, I wanna get your thoughts on this infrastructure mm -hmm. Uh, fight and battle we're seeing in Washington right now. How would you approach that? Yeah, so, so I do think we need to invest in infrastructure. W there are a lot of things in this country we need to do. We have limited resources to do it. We've got a national debt that has reached 30, almost $30 trillion. We have a, an enormous uh, debt service bill every single year that's holding us back in the country. So we can't do everything but we do need to make in smart investments that can help our economy grow and thrive into the future. And infrastructure is certainly an area where we need to make those investments. My view is that we should be disciplined about what we classify as an infrastructure investment. I, I would be with Republicans who are working constructively in order to find uh, a common ground with, with other senators to, to get something done on that front. Uh, one of our senators, Senator Mitt Romney, of course, has been part of that constructive effort. I think that's the kind of leadership we need. I, I think Mike Lee has taken a different approach, obviously, and that's part of the problem and part of what needs to change. If, if we're going to have influence in Washington, we need our representatives and our senators to be able to work with people across the political aisle in order to get things done. And if not, I think we're going to get worse policies and more extreme policies from both sides of the aisle. And, and that's why it's just so important that we have senators that, who are in the conversation instead of ignoring it and simply trying to obstruct it without effect. Okay, we have run out of time. Appreciate you being here with us and we'll be following the campaign. Thank you.